So uh, we're at uh, Mulberry Street, uh, just off of Canal Street. And uh, so I probably came here in 1968. Uh, one time, uh, the way that it happened was that uh, uh, after the Milai massacre and so forth and so on, uh, quite a number of artists had gotten together uh, to do an artist protest of the Vietnam War. I think this was 1968. And uh, so they had a meeting somewhere on Broadway. Uh, uh, there, what, what they had mainly done was to uh, make a poster, which they were, uh, uh, they had finished the poster, they were discussing it at the meeting. But uh, the painter Joan Snyder was there and she, I think that she announced that there was going to be a meeting of women artists uh, who were concerned about uh, women's uh, careers in art and sort of uh, the, the opportunities, opportunities for women artists in the art world and so forth. And uh, I think that she just uh, said, uh, you know, on the way out, something like, uh, you know, men can come also or something. So I found out where it was. I was here. I, uh, she had turned out to have an artist loft here. Uh, another one of these uh, lofts uh, with the studio uh, from a uh, uh, converted uh, factory. And uh, uh, however, I must say that the facade was completely different as it has been uh, in a number of cases. Uh, there certainly was not the door the glass door here and, and the entrance and so forth and so on, it was just a complete, a single completely faceless metal industrial door. And uh, at any rate, so I attended uh, uh, this uh, meeting and I suppose that uh, uh, this, the, the women who gathered may not have had a uh, name at that point, but they became W.A.R., Women Artists in Revolution. I think, I think that's what they became. Uh, but I attended uh, for a number of reasons. I, uh, I was interested in uh, sort of political activism, uh, oppositional uh, politics, and so forth and so on. But I also brought uh, copies of my uh, pamphlet uh, down with art and so uh, they held the meeting and uh, you know it's it is good that I was inured to uh, you know being present at a meeting in which a group that I belonged to was under attack I uh, you know I'd learned that from my long experience in the left uh, but I uh, this was one of these uh, uh, one of these episodes where it really was a complete charade. I mean, as I you know, as I, I, I will mention or have mentioned in in conjunction with some of the other episodes, it was a complete charade because these women were like uh, Catholic women meeting uh, to talk about how they could become priests. I mean that was the that was the frame of reference. Uh, in other words, uh, uh, for them, I mean, you know, being an artist was, was I mean, it was basically a, a desirable sinecure, and you know, they wanted half of the sinecures, and uh, I mean, they were not really certain about what they wanted to do. I mean, they were, they were almost asking the question, this was interesting to me, but they were asking the question, you know, sort of how do you, you know, how do you turn yourself into a genius? You know, like if, if that's what you need to do to get the job. And uh, that's the way they were talking. I mean, like, you know, like one of them said, you know, well, Jackson Mc Pollock, you know, I mean, he just he just ran around and you know ran around and so forth, and maybe that's uh, maybe that was his secret, you know. I mean, it was it was that kind of discussion, and and they, I mean, they explored uh, uh, the possibility that it was rigged, 